Hey there and welcome to my channel. It's good to be back. I, I took some time off. I, I moved and I ended up getting surgery and I'm about three weeks out from surgery right now and feeling pretty good. And so I am glad to be back. But whenever this is reaching you, this is a timeless message, okay? So if you're watching currently or maybe in a year or two, whenever it reaches you, this message is for you and I'm so glad that you made it here today. Okay, so I'm going to pull a message from your divine counterpart. Now, you may be wondering what a divine counterpart even is. And you know, if that's who you are, that's, that's cool that you're here right now. So we have soulmates in our lives, right? And soulmate can be a friend. A soulmate can be a mate, you know, like, um, like even marriage uh, material. Uh, but a divine counterpart is somebody who comes in that's like a soulmate, but way more than a soulmate. Okay, there's somebody who you don't need to clear out your karmic problems with anymore. Okay, they're not a karmic soulmate, they're a divine soulmate. So a divine soulmate typically comes in after you have have uh, learned your lessons, you know, how to overcome whatever obstacles, whatever toxic relationships you've had in the past. Those are karmic. Okay, that's you're working out your karmic with people. A divine soulmate comes in when you know your divinity, when you know how to navigate through through those trials of, of the toxic that you used to have. And you know that there's something better for you. You know that there's a divine person out for you that you're going to build with, right? Because relationships help us build. And I always like to say that we always have a chance to either break our relationship or build it. And once you get to that point in your life where you're building all the time in, in your relationships, and the most important relationship is the one with yourself, where you're building all the time, that's a good indication that you're ready for a divine you're ready for a divine counterpart, somebody who's going to come in and be your partner, somebody who's going to come in and, and, and be that complement in your life, you know, instead of take away energy or distract you or anything. They're, they're going to bring in, just like you're going to bring into their life. You're going to bring in loving, healing. You're both going to bring divinity in uh, to each other's lives, not only to each other's lives, but in that relationship together. Uh, you're going to rise in your vibration. Okay, so quickly. <laughs> I was just gonna I was just gonna talk quickly there for a minute and I went off didn't I okay all right let's see um, I'm hearing to to pull three cards uh, for for this connection of what is going on what message does your divine counterpart want to tell you okay Ooh. okay so there's three things going on all right awesome I pulled three cards. So the first one is the page of pentacles. And when I look at this, this person is, is getting ready. This person is getting ready to step out of the, the circle that they've been in as in to step out of the way that they used to be. They're ready to start stepping into their, their divine counterpart energy. They're coming with an offering, you know, they're, they're holding it next. They're holding it in front of their heart like this. And like, I really, I really want to, to offer this to somebody, you know, I really want to step out and do this. They're saying that they're getting ready. Now it's interesting that they have their leg up raised, but they haven't stepped out of the circle yet. So they're wondering, you know, is it safe to step out? So they're still dealing with their stuff, but they're willing to be there and, and show up. They're going to step out of that circle. They're going to bring this, this, uh, pentacle to you. Okay. They're, they're going to get ready to offer it. They've been building it. They've been doing all the inner work, all the inner work, all the inner work, all the inner work and getting, getting it ready, getting it ready, getting it ready. But you know, it really doesn't mean anything unless you share it with somebody, right? All that love, you, know, you can have love for yourself, but all of that, we're meant for relationship. We're meant to, to build each other up and we're meant to share. And so having this big, beautiful, this big, beautiful pinnacle, this person is getting ready to share it. Okay. That's what's going on with them. The next card, well, that's cool, huh? Is the justice card. And the justice card is, is that this person is, is weighing their options, right? They're weighing how they used to be and how they actually are. And they're getting ready. Um, they're getting ready to step out again. I see, you know, the interesting thing is, is that she's holding a sword there, right? 
So it's like this person is getting ready to cut this part away from themselves. They're, they're getting ready to, to walk away from all that stuff that, that has clogged up their energy, has clogged up their life. They're bringing the justice into their own life. They're, they balanced it out. Whoops. They balanced it out. And now they're going to cut it away so that only that divinity is left, which is interesting because then that brings me to the third card, which is the King of Wands. Look at him. Does he not look like he's coming? Lions are a, are a sign of strength. He's coming. He's got fire energy. So he's coming rushing in like a fire. He's, he's standing. Doesn't he look confident, right? He looks very confident. And look at his eyes on you. Whether you're masculine or feminine, just, just take this for what it is. This person, your divine counterpart, his eyes are on you and he's coming. He's got support. He's got divine support pouring into him. He is divinely led. He is whatever terminology you want to use, God, universe, source, divine, whatever. He is divinely led and he is coming in for you. And so have strength in this. This is interesting. I just noticed it's a chameleon on his shirt and it's in partly in the shadow. Can you see that? That means that he in his life, he or she, this divine counterpart has been, um, um, pretending to be somebody else while they've been healing. They've been pretending to be somebody else, maybe even when they met you, and yet they're going to shine true to who they are. They're going to step out of that shadow, come forward, come forward with the strength of that line behind them, with that divinity behind them, and blaze a trail to your heart and to your life. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, remember to, to like and subscribe and even comment and tell me how, how this was for you. How did it help you? And uh, yeah, you have a wonderful day and I'll be back soon.